Welcome, you are in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen, and today I'm doing beef short ribs. Oh man, we're going to start this off with, I got the olive oil going. Uh, There's a few ingredients on this. I have my flour because I like to uh, dredge the flour. I have my onions, my carrots. I like them like chopped up carrots, a little, a little thickness to it because I'm going to... Uh, it's going to be cooking braising on lower steam in about for a couple of hours until the meat is tender. So I got here, I got my beef short ribs. I got that. I got my rosemary, my thyme, my celery, my carrots. And right now I got some olive oil heating up. I got my tomato paste, my garlic, chicken broth. And I got some red wine. Cause I like to marinate it with the red wine. And guys, like I said, as always, you guys are awesome. I thank you guys for checking me out, liking and subscribing. And guys, that's uh, enough talking. Let's 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 get down to it. Okay. So I'm gonna use one dry one dry hand, one wet hand. So right now I'm gonna dredge. I'm gonna dredge the flour. Right now, first I'm gonna season it. I'm gonna season. And you can use whatever seasoning you guys like to use. I'm using a Mrs. Dash garlic and herb, you know, less salt. Not, you know, I'm trying to stay away from as much salt as I can. So right now, like I said, we're gonna flour it. We wanna flour all sides. Try to flour all the sides you can. And we want to, we're going to brown it. We want to brown sear it on each side. Got it on medium to high heat. For about, for about two to three minutes on each side. Two to three minutes. I'm using this flour. I want to. I could have used a bigger pan, but you know, for the flour, but I, I have to. So we got that. Let me move this stuff out the way and get something to clean this right quick. So while we got that, while I got that uh, searing, got that browning, I'm gonna move this stuff out the way and get this. side and guys like I said you guys are awesome I appreciate you guys you guys are awesome thank you guys for your support and everything you're doing let's bring this in so you guys can see okay so right now I got no medium to high heat I want this to brown I got my fresh thyme, got my tomato paste. So after 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 I get done with all this here, once I brown my meat, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna add a little more olive oil and uh, we're gonna saute the vegetables. Say I'm sit it up so you guys can you know, say two minutes on each side because it's going it's going to all the liquid and stuff you're going to have the, the liquid that's going to simmer it on low for about two hours it all depends you know until or until the, the uh, ribs are nice and tender I got my fresh thyme I got my rosemary. I got beef broth. Some people use chicken broth. I mean, if it's beef for me, it's going to be beef broth. But it's up to you. You don't have to do the red wine, you know, for those that's non-alcoholic. You can use the sherry or you can use 
uh, any kind of broth or something, but you don't have to do a red wine with that. So like I said, you want it on two minutes on each, two to three minutes on each side. But you want to sear it. Oh man! And this is like I said, it's a lot of ingredients. I try to get it, you know, just to, I try to make it real simple, cooking made easy. And it's a lot of it's a lot of ingredients, but uh. It's, it's, it's not hard, man. And so I, I make the recipes that's real easy for you guys. And it's not that hard. You know, I don't, I don't want y'all to get a lot, see a lot of recipes and think it's too much. It really is not. But you need them recipe, you need them ingredients to, to make it perfect. Okay. So I got that, I got the, I got the meats out the way. We're gonna we got that seared for two to three minutes. And as you see, as you see, you just want to you just want to sear it. It's gonna it's gonna cook good in there anyway. Oh man. So while we set that, and that's that's searing it for two, three minutes. So while we set that aside, you got enough, you got enough, you still got enough little oil in here, so you're good. So I wanna, uh, I, I just slice my onions up because like I said, it's gonna cook a while, so it's not like it's gonna break up. I, I like pieces. You can cut, you can chop your carrots, dice or smaller. I like a little chunk here, cause like I said, it's gonna be sitting and cooking for a couple hours. So you don't wanna cut it too thin and then it all disappear on you. You want to get a wood. You want to get a wooden spatula because at the end you want to scrape all your. You want to scrape the bottom and get the flavor. You know, get all the flavor, all the bits and pieces out because that's gonna that's gonna add more flavor to it. You got that. You got that sautéing. You gonna let this sauté for about three minutes. I'm gonna let that saute this bring it in for about three minutes. Okay, we got this saute in. Like I said, you know, saute about three minutes. And you can you like I said, I got my carrots cut kind of a little thicker because it, it it's gonna hold better while it's cooking. I mean, you can do dice sizes it's up to you. I do I like color, and when the meal is done, I, I like to see the color. Okay, you got that in. Okay, now we're gonna add, we're gonna add some tomato paste to that. And like I say, the recipe will be at the bottom of the description. As always, guys, just let me know how you guys, you do the recipes and let me know. A lot of people have been responding and say they, they love the recipes and stuff. And, and, that it, and it's coming out good. And that's, that's what I like, you know. That's all I want, you know. That's why I do what I do. I love cooking. Cooking is my passion. And I love to be able to help people and show people how to do it. Okay, so right now, we're going to cook this for another another two minutes. To get that raw, to get that raw tomato paste out the way. And I, I do a little something else. I'm, I'm going to do a little fire roasted... Uh, I do a little fire roasted diced tomatoes, which that add a, a good flavor to it. And like I say, another two to three minutes on that. I like to get that in. And then when when that cook, we're gonna put the. Uh, the ribs back in here. So we're gonna let that cook for, bring this in close, we're gonna let that cook for about two, three minutes. Let that cook. Okay, I'm gonna add my red wine. And like I said, you don't have to have, 
If it's not alcoholic, you don't have to use the red wine. You can use a sherry or something. Okay, we let that cook. Oh yeah. And now I'm gonna sit this put this over here. I'm gonna set the, the ribs in. I like to put the meat down first. You know, even though it's gonna be covered, I still want to absorb with all that flavor. Let you guys see how inside that is. Okay, we're gonna put it on low now since since we got the meat in here, we're going to put it on low. You add your broth. It's that simple, guys. Don't let the ingredients fool you. Put about a quarter of broth. You want it to cover it up. Try to get as much covered up. Not much, but you want, you want to try to cover it up because it's going to simmer now. You want to stir it up, get all the, everything off the bottom. That's where the flavor's going to be at. Oh, man. I can smell it. It ain't even wait till it get cooked. That's when you know it's good. You know it's good when you can smell it before it's done. Okay, put some fresh rosemary. Some fresh... In my first time. Oh man. I'm gonna cover it up. Like I said, it's on simmer. I'm gonna leave it on simmer for about two hours. You wanna make sure it's coated all the way. Covered up mostly. And guys, I'm gonna put this lid on top of here. And we're going to let it cook for about two hours. You guys, I just want to say, you guys, thank you as always. You guys are awesome. And I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product. This is my beef short ribs. I mean, it's oh so good and oh so delicious. Guys, uh, I'll be right with you in a minute. Give us about two hours. And we're all set. Let's bring this in. Okay, it's about, we, we're, we're doing great, guys. This is, everyone, this is doing great. I want to bring this in close and see what, let you guys see what it's looking like. And you want to keep scraping the bottom and you see how, you see how, oh, yes. Oh, yes. And like I say, like two hours, two and a half to three hours. I got it on simmer. It's been over, it's been over two hours right now. I want to go another, at least another 30. You see, see how easy that, that peels off? Keep it, keep it man soaked in here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go another two. I'm going to go another two and a half, another half an hour. I, I want it to get nicely tender and off the bone. And guys, uh, man, this is awesome. The smell is good. Let's bring this down in. The smell is good. Guys, I, I just I, I just want to thank you guys for the replies and everything that you guys are doing to make my channel better. As you can see, Chef R. Allen. Guys, just let people know who I am. And, uh, man, hit the subscribe buttons and the like buttons and, uh, just uh, watch the ads and everything that's that's showing on my channel, guys. And just thank you, guys. And uh, send me some stars, and that'll that'll give me more money to be able to make the show and the channel better and produce it better. Until then, guys, let's finish this up here. Oh, so well. Oh, that's beautiful too. Bring that in closer. Okay, guys, we're about at it. It's about a little bit close to two and a half hours of cooking this wonderful, 
beef short ribs. Yes. I just want to bring this in closer so you guys can see. See it falling off the bone. You see that, that sauce. You see the sauce there. And guys, I just want to show you guys how, how good this is. And see how it falls. See how it falls right off right off the bone, the meat. That's that's what you want. That there is what you call good beef short ribs. And that's it guys. It's real simple and easy. I'm gonna let that simmer in there a little longer. It's, it's cooked already. I'm making a a horseradish mashed potatoes on top of that. And that's going to go on top of that. And you'll see the reel. And you see, oh man, you see how it breaks up like that? Got my mouth watering. And guys, as always, you guys are awesome. I thank you guys. This is, let's wipe this down. This is my beef short rib, simple to make, but also better to eat. Oh, so good. And guys, as always, you guys are awesome. I thank you guys. You guys are wonderful. Until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen with Cooking Made Easy. And guys, just try this recipe out and let me know how you how I come out to you guys. Until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen with Cooking Made Easy. <laughs>